Welcome everyone to Letter Attack. If this is your first time watching this series, this is basically me just sitting down and reading fan mail that you guys have sent to us. Clarkman is currently finishing up school, so I'll be doing this as a solo thing, which kind of works out for the best because not many six-year-olds want to sit down and read letters in mass quantity, which is what we're going to be doing right now, starting with this one at the top as they all avalanche down on me. And I guess we'll use Scissor Attack to open this up. I have a left-handed pair of scissors, and I didn't really, I don't really think about it very often, but when people see that I'm left-handed, they're like, whoa, it's like a it's like a thing. At least for us lefties, we all like to stick together. So lefties in a right-handed world that we're all navigating. But anyways, inside here. Oh, we got a photo. Look at this little dude. And he's got his stuff there that he built. I love that. Let's take a look and see what he has to say. And we got a piece. Uh-oh. Hope we don't have to drop it. He says, Dear Greg and Clark, I sent a photo of Greg and Clark sig fig and the mail timetable. Brickitech logo and a brick for Clark to throw on the floor. Well, I will most certainly uh, set this aside for him to safely place on the table. Although he does throw them quite often, but I'll set that aside. This, of course, is from Flynn. And this is Flynn. And there is the stuff that he made. So very cool. I can definitely see the resemblance to our table because there's a lot of stuff everywhere on it. It's a giant mess. I, in fact, I had to clear out a spot here just to do this. So Flynn, thank you for thinking of us. And thank you for sending the piece. I'll have Clarkman throw that later. On that, let's go on to this next one. Looks like it's a makeshift postcard here. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, I have been having a great time learning about Dolphin PA, I think is what it is. There is a chocolate factory. Okay, we're talking about Pennsylvania here. There's a chocolate factory near where you live, and you can make your own chocolate bar. He's talking about Hershey. You can also see them make chocolate. I also think that... You should go see Lake Erie. And I saw some of the fish. It's called a brook trout. It was so cool. Have a great some oh, have a great something. This is made by Pablo. P.S. This is for a school project. Hope you like it. Pablo, sorry I had a little bit of trouble reading that, but I do appreciate you sending this over our way. And uh, this is this is supposed to say Harrisburg on the back. There's uh, two R's in it, but close enough for me. And I guess that is a chocolate bar. So thank you for that, Pablo. We'll go on to the next one, which uh, says Tube Architect. And I'll just rip into the back of this one here. This, we have a Clark. Please put on the wall. Absolutely we will. The second wall is filling up. If you guys haven't seen the minifig wall, I'll show it to you before we end here. We'll put anybody on there that needs to go up there. This says Brickitect is the channel where we share our Lego collecting journey every day. There's Brickitect logo. This is Brickitect. I don't know who this is from, though. Shoot. I don't know, but I will I will put you up on the wall, mystery person number one of the day. We'll take you out, and we'll see how you look. Pretty nice. I'll set you over here on the side. You guys can't see it, but we'll put it right there. Okay, I'm going to start clearing stuff out here because things tend to get a little messy here in mail time, or letter attacked, getting all confuzzled. We got this one next. Let's see if I can open this up. Like so. And inside here, oh boy. What the heck do we have here? Looks like some type of comic book or something. Holy moly. Oh, it's like a fliparama. Check that out. You guys, the artwork here. Here's the inside of it. Maybe that's the back. Maybe this is the front. I don't know. It's it's uh it's it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Somebody put some time into this. Let's see what this says. Dear Greg and Clark. I watch, I do something, and I'm seven. All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, for the artwork. I don't know what you do, but I'm glad that you uh, are artistic and you're putting your creativity out there. Mystery person number two. Maybe it says it somewhere in here. I don't know. We'll go on to the next one. Thank you, seven-year-old. Next one. Oh, this one I'm going to need some skizzers for, boys. Maybe I'll cut from this side. It's like, what side can I cut from where I'm not going to cut whatever's inside here? Because I don't want to cut your letters. I save all the letters that we get, by the way, for the last three years. Maybe I'm going to have to digitize these someday. Here we go. This is Hi Brickitect. I am going to have a YouTube channel soon. It's called Mikey Host Films. I'm going to do Lego and getting or gaming and vlogs. I sent a box to you. Might come in yet, but I don't know. My name is Mikey, but you can call me Mike. My logo is on the back, the end. All right, so we have an advertisement for Mike's new channel that he's making. Hope he actually does it, or maybe it's already there. And then we've got some drawings here. 
You guys can see all those. And there's Mikey's logo, or Mike, Mikos Films. Congratulations in your channel, buddy. I wish you the best. Let's go on to the next one here. This one's, is this from the UK? We can actually cheat here. There's a toy, cat treat, biscuits, and a letter. Okay, well maybe we should save this one. This could actually be a, yeah, let's do it. Could put this one in mail time actually, but it kind of came in a lettery type thing. So we will do letter. Oh, we got some cat treats here for the mellow cat. And looks like we've got a sig fig here. Looking nice with a box of pizza. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Looking good. I'm going to put you over with the sig figs over here. Mellow cat treats. We've got a timeout wafer. Ooh, put you on timeout, Clark man, with that. I'll save that for Clark, of course. Oh, if you guys want to see the art. Actually, let's read this first. It says, to Greg and Clark, do not let Clark wait to open this. Here's my sig fig. Uh, Hogwarts castle picture and also got clark uh your i will tell you about me i have autism please look it up now i am very stressed and a lot of time your i love your videos so much well thank you very much i'm glad that maybe our videos help you out with that because that makes me really happy to know that this is from james i won't say like our videos can cure autism but you know maybe if it's it's relaxing i would maybe even stressful sometimes my videos feel stressful to me especially when things are moving at a quick pace which letter tech isn't here's hogwarts castle and here's the family hanging out and they're at the lego house oh my gosh there they are that's awesome i love to see the people behind the the letters if you guys ever send a letter and you feel comfortable send a picture i think it's awesome so there's your family they look like some good people Man, that's cool. So James, thank you so much for the cat treats. Mello will most certainly enjoy these. And the other little uh, animal around here, I was like, what can I call him? The other little animal will enjoy this for sure. So I'm gonna put that off. I guess we'll put that off to the side here and we'll put this here. Um, for anybody that I'm having trouble reading your, your letters, I apologize. I try my best. It's not super easy in some cases, but there's James right there. He's gonna go on the wall. I'm assuming that's a sig fig. Next one we got here. Can I open this one? Yes. Yes, we can. Just a little letter in here. Just a little letter. But it's a long one. This is Hello, Greg and Clark. I have been a fan of your channel ever since I was seven. I am 10 years old, by the way. I didn't like Lego for around six months ago, and you got me back into it. For my birthday, I'm asking for the Monkey Kid Secret headquarters, which has been my dream set since it's been revealed. Hopefully this letter gets to you because it would be a dream come true. Hopefully you have a good day. We're having a great day. I appreciate that. Look at that. We've got some monkey kid action happening right here. The dream set drew it out. That's from Trey. Trey, I hope you get that, buddy. And uh, I appreciate you sticking with us for so long from seven to 10. Went through a dark age, came back, and now he's a monkey kid fan. Imagine. So there it is. Very good drawing of that too. Quick time out on these. I have to put the uh, thing over the addresses. Actually kind of worked out because Clark man needed some help getting into his assignment and I need to get rid of those addresses. So we're back in business now. Intermission. Let's check this one out. It says, dear Clark man, I watch your shows a lot. I will give Thomas, I will give a Thomas, I hope you like it. I love you. Bye. From Jaden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can tell there's a lot of kids that write in and I appreciate that. You guys are doing a good job sending out your words. I know this because I have a kindergartner and this is how he figures things out. So you're doing a good job sounding out and I'm, I'm proud of you, Jaden. Thank you. You don't have to send us a Thomas. Just enjoy yourself and uh, keep up the artwork, my man. Nice work. Next one. To Greg and Clark, man. I'm going to cut this from the side. They they did a nice job of laminating this, which is what I always tell people to do. If you're trying to send something that's not just paper, it's very helpful to do that because otherwise it sometimes it gets shredded at the, oh, there's a piece, pieces of a pencil in here and a dime and a, uh, is this a, is this a frog? Maybe a frog <laughs> and this, this is a uh, connect the dots. It looks like it's like a, it's like a game. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. There's also a cat, Minecraft cat, I think. So we'll put the Minecraft cat over here. Uh, I don't really have much use for a broken pencil, but we will use this dime. We can use this for our next Lego expenditure. Oh, there's a letter in here. Okay, I was, I was, maybe this will shed some light on this. Dear Greg and Clark man, I'm glad Clark liked the snow golem that I included in my last letter. I will be 
including something else that he can be entertained while you are reading this letter. Uh, he's not here. He's doing school. Uh, I have a question for you. Do you prefer the Lego uh, Mighty Micros or Mech Armors? And I have a question for Clark. Yeah, he's he's not here. Um, let's see. I'm using a printer, paper, salt. All of my writing is probably tilted. That's okay. I have another question for both of you. You should uh, you should tune into breaking it down. Might be making a comeback. We'll do all the questions and stuff there. Uh, asking about Marvel, we really enjoyed Wandavision. Sincerely, Mason. I made an appearance in Letter Tech twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. I think we're gonna have to cut you off. I'm just kidding. Um, appreciate you writing the letter in. Again, not really the place for questions, especially for Clark, I suppose. And that's like probably the reason that I'm most likely going to end letter attack here fairly soon. Maybe this will be the last one. It's just, uh, as much as I appreciate the letters and it's, it's nice to see this isn't really a series that does well on the channel. No one, most people, I'll say the vast majority of people don't want to sit down and watch me read letters. Like Clark's not engaged with, with this necessarily. Most of the audience isn't engaged with it. Uh, we, we, like I said, I enjoy getting the letters. It's just, I don't know if it's something I'm necessarily going to share. So it might be one of those things where if you want to send them, you can, but there's not going to be a video on it, which I think is probably going to, I think having it on video is probably half the reason people send us letters just so they can, you know, say they're creating a YouTube channel or say how much they like ours and just be present in the video, maybe to ask questions. But again, I could do a Q and a series that you could do that through. And I think that'd be way more engaging for the vast majority of the audience. They'd be way more interested in that. So we'll see how this goes. It's been something I've been considering for a while. And the only reason I haven't ended this is because I know a lot of people that send letters enjoy seeing this. So I'm essentially doing this for you guys. That's why I'm doing this for the people that send the letters and want to see their letter sent. I'm sent. I'm I'm doing letter tech for you, but and also I haven't ended it because I don't want someone to send a letter that doesn't get featured when they expected it to get featured. And I may also while we're on the topic, I'm also most likely going to be uh, changing mail time up as well. I think a, a whole new changeover is going to happen, being that Clark's now going to school and the channel is going to be changing. And and I think. Uh, I'm, positive way now that I'm having more time for this. I think mail attack might be getting changed as well, but uh, we'll, we'll do some, uh, we'll, we'll converse about this in the future. In the meantime, let's, let's read the next letter here. My, it says, hello, my name is Eddie and I'm 11 years old. I really love, love your channels, Brickitect, Brickitect Live and Greg's World. I watch your, speaking of things that are changing, Brickitect Live is now a dead channel. I don't plan to upload anything more there. And Greg's World, I watch your videos every day. I also listen to your weekly podcast, which I really love, and I'm always ready for the next one, since I help my mom a lot around the house. I listen to it on Spotify, not sponsored, and I'm glad that Clark is doing great in school, and I hope Roxy Bear is doing good. Uh, I lo really love Lego, and a Lego set I want is the Jeep Technic set, which I thought was going to be expensive. I got surprised when I saw it was $50 at Walmart, and I hope everyone in the family is okay. My best wishes for you all. A hey, architect or Eddie Castillo, or Edster. I like that. Very nice handwriting, too. This is one of the first ones I had zero issues with reading, and I appreciate that. So... Eddie, thank you so much for the uh, for the letter. Again, uh, sorry you had to be like right after me essentially announcing that the series is probably going to come to an end. But uh, I think it's good to be honest with you guys. And, uh, you know, it, I tend to focus the channel on things that Clark and I are doing together. And, again, this isn't something that he really is interested in. I mean, mail time, he certainly is because there's, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff like this and things to play with. Letters... I'm sure you can understand. Most of you guys that have sent letters are pretty young, so you probably understand where I'm coming from. Maybe we'll do... I'll, I'll open all the letters, and I'll lay them all on the floor, and then I'll take a picture of it and do a community post that's just like, here's all the letters we got, and I'll do a, a massive thank you for everyone. But again, I think le most letters will probably end up stopping when I stop the videos, because I think when I do a video, people are like, hey, I'm going to send a letter now. So when videos end, the letters pretty much end. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. We got a, a minifig and a car here. And we got a letter that says, Dear Greg and Clark, I love watching you guys every day, and I have included a sig fig and something for Clark, and my name is Jordan, and I, could you please open this on mail time, please? I opened it on letter attack. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that's close enough. We got a smiley face. We've got a Brickitect logo. And here is a sig fig. And you'll be going up the wall. So we got three people going on the wall. You can kind of see them off to the back here. They, they're all falling over. <laughs> Just keep falling. Okay. We'll put the car off. I'll make sure Clark gets this along with this. 
two little toys for him. Next up, we got this one. Beautiful handwriting, beautiful package. Let's see what we got here. It feels like another car, and it is. Speaking of cars, I, that's another that's another thing. You guys, you, you keep your Hot Wheels from now on, guys, because Clark has, he has more vehicles than any single kid could possibly ever play with in the history of their entire life. And these, these are just going in a bin at this point, basically. And we're probably going to start donating a lot of these. So if, if you, you hold on to your stuff, but if you want to donate it to the, the, like a thrift store or Goodwill or something like that, where kids that really actually need toys can, can enjoy them or, or toys for tots, whatever, whatever place you want to donate it to, because Clark man is, he's, he's hooked up. He's good. We're good on Hot Wheels. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, and I hope that doesn't sound like I don't appreciate this because I do. I appreciate the thought that goes into it. It's just, I'm just being honest. I think that's the best policy. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, I love your uh, videos. I'm seven years old, and I hope you like what I got you, Clark. And you sound, and you should get the Lego 21028. I, something, I, Bet it something, something to build. P.S. I have been building Legos since I watch your videos. Okay, thank you. Lots of seven-year-olds watching our channel. I think there's a lot more kids watching our videos than I ever imagined, which is expected with Clark Man. But that's that's probably going to change here too. Lots of changes coming here on this channel. I think a lot of you younger kids that are watching currently that are like that that like our channel the way it is. I think you're going to be very disappointed going forward because again, I'm I'm making some massive changes here. And uh, I think the audience is going to switch over. I think I might have cut your letter here, by the way, too. Sorry about that. Big changes coming to Brickitect. Oh, my God. They got a Statue of Liberty face in here. All right. This says, hello. I can actually read this one. Hello, Greg, Clark, Cody, Roxy, Bear, Mellow Cat, and the chickens. My name is Chris, and I'm 2,148 days old. Could I do the math on that? Let's see. If he was 10, he would be... Wait a minute. Can that be? He, if he was 10, he'd be 3,000 days old. If he was 20, he'd be 6,000. So maybe he's in his 50s, something like that. I didn't do any math. You guys can check me on that. Live math. And I've been watching you all for about two years now, and I love your funny, informative videos. I'm about to start my own YouTube channel doing reviews. I'm a huge collection of toy collectibles. I love that. I'll send you a link when it's up and running. Now to the point of the letter, I saw your video on the Statue of Liberty Lego set, and I've sent you another solution for the face problem. Hopefully you will like it. Best regards to you and all your family from Chris. You know what, Chris? I think you might have solved my problem with the Statue of Liberty face. Let's take this out here. If you guys didn't see that video, it's one of my most popular videos, surprisingly. You never know what's going to pop off, but he's got the uh, the sticker on here with his Statue of Liberty face. I actually really like that. I think that's very doable, and I think I'm going to put that online. We'll have to see how it goes. It's right now it's in storage. I don't have it out here because uh, I'm in the process of reorganizing my studio, but which has been going on for months. But I like that a lot. I'm going to put that off to the side so it doesn't get lost. Chris, thank you for sending that. That's actually very thoughtful. Appreciate you, man. And... Uh, should I do the math right now? Let's do the math. How old is Chris? I've got time on my hands. You do too. You're here. Let's take a gander. 2000, 20,148 divided by 365. 55. I was close. It took me a while to get there, but he, I, I knew it was 50 something. I'll be there soon. We got this next one here. Thank you, Chris, for that. I'm going to try to open this up without cutting anything. The biggest challenge of all time. Cut it. Oh no. Didn't make it in. There we go. <sighs> this is. There we go. I got in. I was like, this thing is not cooperating with me, my man. Hey, we got a monkey kid. All right. Did I get everything? Looks like I got everything. This says, To Greg and Clark, man. Hi, guys. It's Mark. All the way from the UK. I hope this finds you intact. Yes. Encloses a poly bag for Clark to build. I know you already have it, but as you say, you can never have too much Lego. 
This guy, Brickatex. Also inside, hopefully, is two magnets. They are reproductions of old railway posters used to promote my hometown during its heyday as a favorite holiday resort in the 50s through 80s where people would flock to soak up some sea air and sun. I thought I'd send them for Bartect. Keep doing what you love doing. Your viewers will follow you. Whatever happens with missing pieces, change of location or name, it won't matter to your subs. Your videos always put a smile on my face and cheer me up. Thanks for being one of the most genuine channels on YouTube. Regards, Mark B. from England. Mark is a Patreon detector and just an overall really good dude. And um, I appreciate the support, man. And I, I think what you say there uh, it really means a lot to me when you say it's most genuine channels. And again, I just, I think honesty goes a long way on YouTube. And if you can be real with the people that are supporting you, just like I am in this video, you know, I've, I've been very honest about Hot Wheels, about this, this series, where I see it going or not going and things I want to do. Some things I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out. Missing pieces I think I've resolved. I'm just going to keep it right where it's at and do what I want to do. And whether people want to see that or not, I want to take this channel in a direction that I really would like to see it go long term. And that may mean that the people that enjoy this, the content that I'm making now, as it's going to change, as I mentioned earlier, they may not be there in the future. But then again, people that aren't there now may be in there in the future. And the thing is on YouTube, you can't cater to the audience that that's there now. You can't just keep making the things that they want. You got to make the things that you're passionate about and you can't fear losing subscribers or not having people want to watch your content for a little while because that's that's understandable people change as time goes by in fact like the people that watch this channel change constantly the people that are watching it now most of them aren't the people that were watching it two years ago or three years ago i mean there's some cases here where people are writing letters and saying that but the vast majority of people it's just a constant rotation especially when you make videos about toys especially uh, lego because there's there's windows of people's lives that they're interested in this in most cases unless you're an a fall but when you're a kid, maybe you love Lego when you're when you're 10. But when you're 12, maybe you've moved on to something else, and you're you, you're just this isn't your thing anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. And you don't have to be upset about that or or think that you shouldn't have a dark age because that's perfectly fine. You'll come back if you want to. But this says make it a festival festival holiday. Stay at Eastbourne, Sun Trap of the South. I like that. Right there in England. I like the way that looks. I love magnets. I have a fridge over there that I put all these magnets on. I'll have to do an update video. Maybe I'll do that as the part of the bar attack. I've been meaning to do a bar attack video forever, especially now that it's done. Here's another one for Eastbourne. Looks like a nice place. Illustrated handbook from Information Center of Eastbourne. Cool. I like these. They feel very vintage. And they're magnets, of course, as you can see there. As Mark mentioned, we do have this set, but... As I always say, you can never have too much Monkey Kid, or any Lego for that matter, so we will... I don't know if maybe... Yeah, I'll let Clark build this, and he'll just put it into his collection where he can ram it around or whatever, and if it gets if it gets pilfered out and lost in there, and he pieces it out and other things, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to slide your stuff away, Mark. Thank you so much for the, for the letter. Next one is this one, second to last. This one uh, fell victim to the post office, I believe. This is what happens when you don't laminate your entire thing. If you put something in there, it gets shredded out, and it's probably in the sorting center now. So there'll probably be reference to a, a piece or a minifig in here in the letter, I would rec I would imagine, because it happens a lot. I've done enough of these to know that. Uh, here's my sig. Here's my minifig. Psych. It says, hey, Greg and Clark, I love your videos. I watch your mail time videos, and I wanted to send you a letter, and I love your videos so much. I hope you like the letter. Here's my minifig from Charlie. Charlie, I'm sorry you didn't make it. Fallen soldier at the post office. This here is a little bit of artwork, Brickitect. See, this is the stuff that I love to see, and it's 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 this stuff. It's it's the letters with the art. It's the pictures that people send. I love the minifigs to go up on the wall and stuff like that, the magnets and stuff. And uh, I really appreciate you guys doing this. We do have one last one left here as we get into this. This maybe finale of Letter Attack. I'll probably do one more of these, I would imagine, just because I know there's people that are probably still sending their stuff. But just know that if you do send a letter going forward, there's a very, very good chance that it's not going to be on video. But there is also a very, very good chance, I'm going to say 100% chance, that we will absolutely read your letter. It's just not going to be publicly made. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, as a mom, first person other than Mark, to write to me that's over the age of 10, I think, as a mom, I want to reach out and thank you for your YouTube channel. My children have recently started watching more YouTube videos, which was a difficult transition since I personally prefer extremely limited screen time. 
I like I like what you're saying here. There are such a wide variety of channels, and I appreciate that they found your positive and interesting videos about Legos and life. My children love Legos, and it's nice. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. It's one of their favorite toys for them since it encourages creativity and imagination. My hope is that they never ease their passion for Lego and use their creative skills for the rest of their lives. Thank you for inspiring theirs and changing and bringing your joy and happiness to YouTube. I'm grateful my boys found your channel and their screen time is positive and a learning opportunity. Thanks from Megan. Oh my goodness. That's a really nice letter. It means a lot to me. I, I love the fact that kids, like, like I said, there's a lot of kids that send these letters. They're all over here. It's nice that they're watching something that isn't uh, cancerous, like some of the stuff that kids watch on YouTube. In fact, Clark tends to get into that stuff. He loves Minecraft videos. And to see some of the things that he watches, it's just terrible. So it is, you know, I'd like to be on the other side of that and be like, hey, at least, like if, if I, like if Clark watched channel like ours, which I'm sure they're out there, but I don't see it often, where it's not just exploiting children and stuff and making them buy things and screaming the entire time, I would be happy about that too, but I'm glad to be a, a, a positive force for your kids because it's, it's, I think it's necessary. I'm sure you as a parent, you're, you're very much that, but if they're going to be entertained by somebody, I'm, I'm happy that it's me. So thank you so much for the letter. I really appreciate it. See, this is the type of letter right here that just, it means a lot to me. It really does as do all of these, but to, to get something like that, man, it's, it's awesome. So thank, thank you so much for that, Megan. I think you taking time out of your day to write this, first of all, and then to send it out and for us to, to, to get this in hand, I think is awesome. As much as sometimes I get this on Instagram and, and through email, it's, it's like getting this in, in hand. It's, it's, it's incredible. So thank you for that. And I want to thank everyone else for, uh, for joining me along on this uh, journey through all these letters, which again, I save this, I save the photos. Of course, these go up on the they go up on the fridge. And I got some minifigs to put on the wall, so I'm going to do that now. We'll put all these guys up there. Oh, we got a little guy. I'm going to need to get a piece for him. But we'll put all these guys up on the wall and give you guys a wall update. I got this little piece right here. I pulled this shelf out of my storage room, so pardon this being in the way. But we did fill up this wall over here with sig figs. And then we moved over here. These are ones of, of Clark and myself, which I'm probably going to take off here. But here's all the most recent sig figs that people have sent. And I think I've done... Pretty good job of documenting this, but we'll put putting these guys up there right now. Set you guys over here. The audio is going to get a little janky for a minute because I have the microphone facing the other way. But we'll put this this first dude up. And we'll just keep going across. It's probably one of my favorite things that I have in my collection is the sig fig wall. And I think about this all the time. Ho again, hopefully you can hear me. I think about how this represents people that watch our channel or thought of us, sent us a letter, sent us mail, stuff like that. It's just awesome to think about sometimes. And I do when I come down the stairs, I think about that. So there you go. That is, uh, that's all the new crew up there adding to the collection. We even got crazy guys here in tubes. It's fun stuff. And uh, again, I, I appreciate all of you, everybody here and down here that has sent us mail and letters and stuff along the way. Again, I don't know if this is gonna be the last letter attack. I might do one more, considering there's people that have sent letters in anticipation of seeing it on video. Um, but that'll probably be the last one. And uh, from there, we'll, we'll, we'll take your letters, we're gonna read them off camera, enjoy them. And then I'll, like I said, I'll lay them all out, we'll take a big picture. You'll know that I saw it, that I read it. And if that's something you still wanna do, if you still wanna send us a letter, even though it's not gonna be featured in a 20 minute video that not many people tend to watch if you're okay with it not being featured in the video and that's not the reason you sent it was just to get the attention that you would get from sending it in and seeing yourself if you're sending it for the right reasons i guess is all i'm trying to say then uh then i welcome you to do that but from here on i think we're gonna we're gonna refocus our energy and attention to uh to other things which i have big plans for this channel is the renaissance is coming here in april and uh, even mail, t mail time, like I mentioned earlier, mail time's gonna be making some changes as well. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be talking about that soon. I'll probably do a big announcement video. I'm not big, but I'll probably announce the whole changes that I plan to make to all the mail going forward. And you guys can decide what you wanna do, but I've, I think I have something that I will be really awesome for people to participate in if you choose to. 
and uh, the letter stuff will just be kind of on the side. So on that, hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're still here, uh, appreciate it, and hope you guys have a glorious weekend. We'll see you in the next one.